the crime, Mr. Speaker. He unleashed the car theft crisis by bringing in house arrest and, and bail, not jail, for repeat career car thieves, and by allowing our ports to become sieves where our cars are stolen from, so much so that we're now becoming world famous for the Prime Minister's failures. The Ghana Economic and Organized Crime Office says we are in possession of stolen vehicles. The victims, it's all in Canada. No Canadian agency has approached us directly or made a formal complaint. Will he take the money from the back office bureaucrats and consultants and put it into frontline law enforcement to protect our car? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Yeah, the Leader of the Opposition likes to make uh, base political accusations. He likes to talk about C5 and C75 as the reason there is auto theft in this country. The reality is C5 is the bill that keeps mandatory minimum penalties for car theft on the books, and C75 is the bill that raises the maximum penalty on car theft. We've continued to step up in terms of keeping Canadians safe. We will continue to invest in the CBSA and in the resources necessary uh, to counter these challenges. We will keep working based on facts and evidence, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Well, here are the actual facts. Let's go through them. C-5 keeps mandatory prison sentences. Mr. Speaker, they were already in place, put there by the previous Conservative government. They weren't created by C-5. What C-5 did is they brought in, it brought in house arrest oh. for career car thieves so they can watch Netflix or perhaps play Grand Theft Auto in their living room and then go out onto the street and steal another car whenever they want. Will he follow my common sense plan to end house arrest for career car thieves? Yeah. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, in the Leader of the Opposition's simplistic worldview, someone sitting on their couch at home playing video games goes out and steals and escalate. That's not what happens, Mr. Speaker. Organized crime is directly involved in the massive spike in auto thefts in this country. That's why what we're stepping up on in investment in anti-organized uh, crime, investments against money laundering that that party voted against, investments in more powers and more uh, resources for Ontario to counter auto theft, and indeed more resources for the CBSA that they cut when they last left office will continue to be there. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, actually people do steal cars when they're on house arrest because all they have to do is open the door and walk out and steal the car. <laughs> then there's his bail policy, which allowed the same 40 offenders to be arrested 6,000 times in Vancouver in a year, many of them car thieves. So will he accept my common sense plan to get rid of house arrest and bring in jail, not bail, for career car thieves? Yes or no?